Hi everyone, my name is Dean. Welcome to Books and Quirks. Today is Friday, so I'm going to be telling you what I'm going to be reading today into the weekend. So I've already started two books, so let's start with those. The first book that I want to talk about is The Girl with All of the Gifts, and I'll put a picture. I don't have um, the physical book for this. I'm re reading it on my Kindle, but I've seen it around booktube a bit, and I wanted to give it a try. Now, I've only read about 30 pages of this, so I don't have much information, and I sort of went, it, went into it blind. Um, like I said, I've seen it around book two, but I couldn't remember what it was about when I first started it a couple of days ago. Um, and I just read, like I said, the first couple of chapters, which is about 30 pages. This book is a mystery to me, still. Um, all I know is that there are these children these children um or in this world as far as i know the children are kept in cells um like prison cells and um we don't know why they're in these cells but we know they're dangerous but again we don't know why they're dangerous the main character she's a very sweet young little girl um or so far in the book. I don't know if she grows up throughout the book. Um, and she also doesn't understand why they treat her the way they do. Because every day, you know, these children are taken out of the cells um, during the week for school and different things. But, you know, they have to be strapped in a wheelchair, you know, and while they're being strapped, the um, commanding officer points a gun at their head, making sure they don't pull any funny stuff. It's very strange. Um, and all we know, aside from that children are dangerous, is that we do know that there are creatures on the outside that feed on humans, um, kind of like zombies, but different. I really don't know how to explain it, so I'll do a review when I finish the book and have more to say about what it's about, because I myself right now am really confused. Um, but I am intrigued. I want to see what ha what is happening. Like, why is this the way it is? The next book that I just started, and again, I'm also only about 30 pages in, is Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Nouvelle. So this book is excellent so far. Like I said, I'm only in the very beginning, and it starts out with a young girl. Oh, God, I'm so forgetful of names. Rose. Rose is her name. And this young girl is, um, it's her birthday in the first page of the book. She gets a, a bunch of gifts, and her favorite gift is from her parents, and it's a bike. And she goes to ride her bike and falls into, like, a hole. Um, the ground gives way and she wakes up in a metal, a giant metal hand. And after the first, you know, five pages, you see that she's all grown up and now she's a PhD scientist looking to find out more about what, where this hand came from, what it's made of, um... And sort of, you know, even though she's, um, she is, um, it's not her field of study. She's sort of playing, you know, archaeologist, paleontologist, a whole bunch of different things, um, just trying to find out where this originated from. It's really creepy and really good so far, and it's told kind of, you know, similar to Illuminae. This is an adult science fiction book, but it's told in an interview mostly in interviews and journal entries with a few kind of news newspaper clippings thrown in as well so this book is you know is all you know questions and answers you know basically interview interview format so i really enjoy that i think it makes it go a little bit quicker um it is much denser than illuminae you know but i just I likened it to Illuminae because I, it was uh, the first book that I've read other than that book that was in this sort of different kind of format. And the last book that I hope to get to that I haven't yet started is And I Darken by Kirsten White. So And I Darken, 
I don't know much about it. I saw it on Stephanie's channel of Stephanie Bean's channel and it really sounded intriguing but again that was like a month ago and I don't remember what it's about. All I know is that it has something to do with Vlad the Impaler, you know, the the um, inspiration for Dracula. So Vlad, Vlad the Impaler um, is part of this book, I think, and it has to do with the whole um, issue of um, Vlad's army against the Ottoman Empire, which they were fighting against. Um, if you've if you've read that part of history, and I I tried to read um, the beginning, but it appear appears that it follows a, a princess. Her name is Lady Draguila. Wyla? I'm not sure how to say that last name. And she's sort of living undercover in this, in the Ottoman Empire. And um, all I know is that I wanted to read this book when I first heard Stephanie talk about it. I can't remember what this, what it's about, but I just was really intrigued. And the fact that it has anything to do with Vlad, um, Vlad the Impaler, is intriguing to me and I can't wait to um, to start it so hopefully I get through those three or if I don't I'll be continuing on during the week so that is all I have for you those are the books that I'll be reading today into the weekend I hope you all have a wonderful day please like comment and subscribe and I will see you all next time bye